Joe Rivers is here. I don't know how long have I we known Whoa. each other? Long, 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 long time. Long, long time. No, long, long time. Very good friends. And I thought I knew pretty much everything there was to know. I saw the documentary when my wife and I watched it. We laughed. We cried. We so cried some more. You. What did you not know about Joan that you found out watching her documentary? I, I think what it does it, in a way that is so amazing, it lays bare everything. Yeah. It's not just the public Joan or even right. I'm such a good friend to you, but... Where Joan, what, what was your revealed? insecurities? Sorry, go ahead. That was the whole point, wasn't it, for you? Uh, I, well, it all out I, you there? know, I did it. My friend's daughter, Ricky Stewart, it's a documentary. She said, would you like to have Ricky follow you around? I said, sure. <laughs> and they did for 14 months, and this thing has come out. It's the pick of the, the, the summer from People Magazine and Time. and New, Who knew? And she really did a great job. Uh, yeah, but you yeah. let her open the doors wide open. Yeah, well, I said to her, you don't want to see a documentary on somebody unless you tell the truth. I'm so sick of exactly. spending your money and getting nothing. You walk out, I still don't know about that person. So she really went in there and found things a out. Anything in retrospect, you you watched it tonight, I don't believe I let yeah. that out. The, the nude sex scenes. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. I want you That's why we're going. Sorry. Personally, I appreciate it. Yeah, well, <laughs> Melissa's going to be, oh. gonna be very upset with the lesbianism. You know, <laughs> but she, it's time she knows. You have to let it go. Yeah. Yeah. And you maintain your humor, of course, throughout <laughs> it, which is wonderful. The opening sequence is of you putting your makeup on. Yeah. I mean, the, Wait, does that mean we see you without a drop of makeup? You see me to, the way only a plastic surgeon is seen. <laughs> I, I'm going right now. <laughs> Coming up, more with the one and only Joan Rivers, now the subject of a serious documentary. The cameras went on a year-long ride with Joan. They take a look back at her half-century in oh, showbiz. Thanks. Back in 1960, uh -huh. Joan Rivers was entertaining U.S. troops in South Korea. <laughs> and half a century later, she's still making us laugh. Now we get to see this comedy icon behind the scenes in a fascinating new documentary on her life called A Piece of Work. Last year was a, a very difficult year. I was playing, here we go, <laughs> the Bronx at 4.30 in the afternoon. That was a real good one. I'll show you fear. That's fear. If my book ever looked like this, it would mean that nobody wants me, and that everything I ever tried to do in life didn't work. Nobody cared, and I've been totally forgotten. Joan Rivers is here. Good morning. It's so funny watching that, you know. Why? What do you, what do you see when you see it? Oh, I don't, well, they were with me night and day for 14 months. Mm -hmm. And you forget all the little moments that they chose to put in it. And boy, oh boy, that's my life. Uh, an empty book. I think that's everybody's fear. We think we know you because we watch The Apprentice. We watch your show. Uh, the, the, you get how to so Get So Rich? rich and Finale all, tonight. Uh, watch. <laughs> Thank you very much. This is a nice how I got that in yeah. there. And Thank you. <laughs> we've watched you so much and, and doing stand-up and everything else. In those situations, you are always in control. You're the one who is in control of the material that gets out. And this time, the walls come down and we see you laid bare. Yeah. Did you think it was going to turn out like this? I didn't know. I just knew if you're going to do a documentary, I don't want a stupid puff piece where everyone says, oh, she's so wonderful, and here's another friend. Oh, I loved it. You know, all these horrible people, they tell you how wonderful they are. Mm -hmm. And so I said, if we're going to do it, let's tell the truth. Right. But they really picked, again, in 14 months, you forget how many things you say right. off the cuff. And it really came out, I thought, you really see about age and how difficult it is, and you really see what our business is about. Mm. People see you sitting here in control with your nice time. And right, your right, right. They have no idea what's going on backstage. Right. And so I think it was, it was very good what they showed. There's a camera follows you to a nightclub one night. Yeah. And it's so interesting because here you are. Could you be any more glamorous? No. You're... <laughs> <laughs> Down the stairs you go, yeah. through the freight elevator, in this dank, horrible, and it's disgusting. Disgusting. It's, the path that you take in order to get 
to that moment, and I mean, it is the metaphor for the film, the, the path you have to take in order to get to the spotlight is dirty and horrible. Jack Benny, one of the greatest comedians, I met him at the end of his life, said to me, I was just starting, he said, young lady, it's a young lady, he said, never forget, you always walk through the kitchen to get to the stage. <laughs> Very good. There's and also, that's, that's us. It is. And there, there's also a scene, you have you have a record of every joke you've ever written. Yeah. File boxes, about. file boxes. Thousands and thousands and thousands if and thousands of them. ever do a speech, call me. <laughs> You have one for every occasion. But Woody Allen used to write things on match covers. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I used to write all over the place. And one day, an office temporary came in and said, where's your joke room? She just worked for Bob Hope. I right. said, joke room? And from then on, every joke I could remember went on a file. When you go back and, and you see this and you really look at yourself, yeah. do you know what the engine is? Do you know where the fear comes from? Do you know why? I mean, at this point... Listen, you've made a couple of bucks in your life. You could you could coast for a while. I don't. I love the work, but it's such, Harry. I never had a contract. You know, you're going to be here for three years or five. I never had that. My next job is my last job mm. until the next job comes, and that's a tremendous drive. All right. You know, and it's always will it an age. You're never the first on the list. <laughs> never. First of all, they're scared you'll be dead. Well, I mean, you know, it's more than a week there away. There are several the scenes where you're sitting there, you're talking to agents on the phone, and you say, okay, uh, they want me because who wouldn't show up or who, who couldn't they get? Yeah, it's, oh, I'm never the first choice. Mm -hmm. yeah, I got my, my talk show, which ended up with 15 Emmy nominations. Nell Carter said, are you kidding? Mm. Try Joan Rivers, she's yeah. free. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so There's I, also I a very, show. very... A uh, powerful story about when you got the job at Fox and how Johnny Carson, once you took the job, he never talked to you again. Competition. Over. <sighs> Over. It's a business. You forget it's show business, as my friends very often remind me. Right. And in The Godfather, they always said when they're about to kill somebody, it's just business. It's just business. Yeah. All right, so your uh, reality show you. is uh, reality show. How'd you up? get so rich? Ten o'clock tonight, right. grand finale. Yeah, all right. We all want to make sure you're still employed. That, me too. <laughs> <laughs> and the movie opens this weekend. It's phenomenal. It's great. It is absolutely phenomenal. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. Love you back, and you know it. Joan Rivers, thanks. The documentary Joan Rivers: A Piece of Work opens in select cities on Friday. And oh, by the way, there's some salty language in it. Yeah. Just so. thought I'd let you know. <laughs> <laughs> that is I.